Hello, everybody. This is the uh, video that we've been asked to make for parents. I guess kids can watch it too, but we're doing this instead of having the meet the teacher night, uh, which makes perfect sense considering the situation. Uh, my name is Mike Johnston. I teach 10th grade English, uh, 10th honors, AP, and I have a section of juniors this year as well. And uh, I've been here for 22 or 23 years, graduated from Southern Columbia in 1988, um, went to Bluesburg University. Uh, been here for a long time. Uh, assistant football coach for over 20 years. Coached softball for a couple of years, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we're just basically supposed to introduce ourselves and talk about what we're doing. Uh, but this is a different type of year with some of the, the COVID situation that's going on. Um, let me just take a second and show you what we've tried to do with our classrooms. There's a lot fewer desks in here than there were uh before so the largest class that i have right now um is 20 kids um and i'm sure if we can make it smaller than that we will people are still trying to tweak the schedules uh and you saw the spray bottle and the microfiber cloth that's on there we just had a meeting about you know keeping things clean and wiping down the desks in between so we're you know everybody here is on board with doing that because i think everybody here is on board with what i think is the most important thing is actually getting back into school we did a great job. Our tech people, you know, did a great job last year in March when this COVID stuff hit and we were able to function pretty much like a regular school through virtual learning, but virtual learning isn't quite the same. You don't have the interaction with the kids. It's not face to face, which we'll have this year. Of course, we'll have our masks on. I don't have one on right now because I'm the only person in the room. Um, but, you know, the school is very much up on keeping things clean so that we can have that interaction, which um, most of us believe is the best way to engage in the learning process. Um, three things you'll see right behind me here on this wall are three, uh, it's chalkboard paint. So what I do is at the start of every week I come in and I post a schedule for the week on that board. So your son, your daughter knows exactly what's going on in here every week uh, when they come into class. So, and it helps keep me straight too, because let's face it, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You need a reminder as to what you're going to do this week in class. So they know uh, if they have a test, um, on Friday, it says on their Monday, hey, vocab quiz on Friday. If they have some type of reading assignment that's due, uh, it's posted on there so they know what's going on. And they have their cameras with them. They can take a snapshot of the board. Bam. After they do that, I ask them to put their cameras in a box um, unless they're going to use them in class. And that happens from time to time. If that's the case, then I tell them, okay, you know, you're going to need your phone. You're, you might want to take a picture of this or you might do that. Technology is great, but it has its purpose in the room. And I, I just try and keep some uh, some rules with that. Um, if you guys, if you're a parent and you have a question about what's going on in class, uh, if you're a parent and you have of a, an honors kid uh, who has a question about what's going on in class, because I try and make those classes challenging. Honors and AP are pretty tough. Um, and if you're having a situation where you're concerned, Shoot me an email. It's the best way to get a hold of me. We're required to check our email on a daily basis and we'll get back to you and we'll discuss the situation, you know, resolve it as to whatever the need is. Um, but we appreciate uh, your involvement with the school. We appreciate your support. And uh, everybody here has their fingers crossed that, you know, we can get the kids back in school and have things go as reasonably normal as possible and keep everybody safe. So thank you. Have a good day.